it's Neil Garner here once again with another audiobook blast, fast, fun, furious, in association with the ACA. That's the Audiobook Creators Alliance, lovely collaborative group of wonderful creative types in the UK audiobook industry. Go join it, it's completely free, and you could bring your expertise, your knowledge, your questions, your answers, um, maybe cake. It'd be nice if someone brought cake eventually. Um, so welcome along. What's today? What are we talking about today? We're talking about the production process. So what happens after you've recorded an audiobook? So say you're a, a narrator uh, and you, you you go to studios, you might wonder, well, what happens next? Well, this is what happens next. This is pretty, pretty obvious, but I thought well, I might as well tell you. Maybe you're an author. You don't know the process or, or new to publishing. So narrator has come in, uh, recorded their files. It might be a rock and roll style or it might be chapter file style. Um, and what happens next is we then send those files out to an editor. Now, we have in-house editors as well as freelance editors. Um, you may edit yourself, of course, but they'll go to be edited. And during that phase, the editor will work through the raw files, even a rock and roll file, and just tidy it up, clean up background sound, maybe use some studio silence to help uh, repace it, make sure everything's to the correct specifications that the client has required of you, uh, tidy it all up, name those files to the right spec, of course, and then master them out uh, in a way that, uh, that that hits all the all the correct um, requirements, shall we say. So at that point, uh, what we then do is we then send those files. They come to us back as WAV files, as broadcast WAVs. We then convert uh, and create a copy of them uh, as 192 kilobit per second MP3s. Now these are mono files, of course, remember, because it's single voice audio books. We don't need stereo at this point. There's no music or sound effects. And those files go off to uh, proofers. Again, we have an in-house proofer. We also have uh, a team of uh, freelance proofers that we work with, and they'll get listen to the uh, audio files they'll compare the audio files to the script now i always prefer to send my proofers both a clean original version of the script but also the marked up script so they can then see where mistakes have been made to make sure that we've not missed an edit uh, they can also see any notes that i've made as producer uh, any hints say there was a typo there so we fixed it you don't need to flag it etc etc so from the proofer we then get back a report telling us what we missed what's gone wrong and invariably there'll be something it's very rare to get a completely perfect recording back uh, there'll always be something you might have missed in the edit or that you've missed in producing and uh, then we'll do either pickups with the narrator or we'll fix those uh, errors using editing and the most things can be fixed in editing occasionally we have to ask a narrator to pop back or do a, a, a quick location record for us just a few words to pick up uh, we'll then edit those back in make sure that all the fixes are required that are required are done uh, i will then here at labrooks i will personally then do the mastering make sure that everything is up to our final in-house quality uh, every single title we produce last year in 2018 we produced 150 titles i personally oversee the mastering of just to just to make sure that everything has a labrook sound to it shall we say and i'm happy with it and it's going to the client with my seal of approval on it um and at that point uh, we deliver the files now for most clients they're digital only so they may be wav files they may be wavs and mp3 versions um one client has multiple mp3 requirements uh, there's another client that also needs audio cd so at that point i have to put them into another program and take the chapter files and decide how long each cd is going to be then cut to that cd and then put track markers every three to five minutes it's quite a long and laborious process and then of course you have to then burn the cds and then label the cds and package cds and put them in the post and send them out and oh yeah it goes on and on uh, but that's the sort of stuff we do uh, for many clients so it's just a simple upload to an ftp site for example and then we email the client tell them uh, all the details duration files etc etc and then go back to our narrator uh, who we've normally hired directly to let them and their agent know how long the final product is to then let them know that they can invoice us based on that final duration and scene yes it's quite a laborious process it takes a while you can see why we say we need a couple of weeks to get things done it's bouncing around various experts and coming back for fixes and changes and all that time uh, of course like any other business we're selling in trying to get new work we're working on the next title two or three at a time and everything's going around and around and around so there's a lot going on once the narration bit on its own has finished and the narration bit's really important all the rest of those processes are equally important to make a top-notch grade a audiobook so i hope that's been uh, of use to you so you understand a bit more of the process and uh, see what we all do on the techie side to help make uh, our audiobooks the art form that we all know and love so i hope you've enjoyed it i'll see you very soon for another audiobook blast take care bye mm -hmm.